release date set for TV show commemorating the Bali bombing 2002. The first trailer for Stan TV's forthcoming miniseries Bali 2002 has been released. The television show dramatizes the terrorist incident that took place in Kudan on October 12, 2002. 202 individuals were murdered in the incident, including 88 Australians, 38 Indonesians, and 23 Britons. 209 more persons suffered severe injuries. On September 25, the series will begin to stream. The drama was jointly produced by Channel 9 and Stan as a Stan original. The narrative tells the tales of common people who were transformed into heroes as a result of the events of October 2002. In addition to Claudia Jesse, the star of the Netflix series Bridgerton, other well-known Australian performers in the cast include Rachel Griffiths and Richard Roxburgh. Srisach Sak Braziath and Sri Ayujati Kartika are making their TV debuts with this series. After extensive discussions with persons who were directly involved in the aftermath of the Bali bombing, the narrative and plot were created. In time for the 20th anniversary of the Bali bombings, the show will be released. The tragic event took place in Kuta, a well-known tourist destination. On October 12, 2002, at roughly 11 p.m., three bombs exploded around Bali. One in front of the American consulate, one outside Paddy's Bar, and one outside Sari Club. The neighborhood is crowded with people, and the bars were active. Jeremiah Islamia and Al-Qaeda planned the assault. A suicide bomber inside Sari Club signaled the explosives affixed to his rucksack at 11.05 p.m. 20 seconds after the first explosion, a second suicide bomber exploded a vehicle bomb from a white Mitsubishi van that was parked outside Paddy's Irish Bar, just across from Sari Club, forcing many people inside to rush outdoors. A hole one meter deep was left by the vehicle bomb. As they marked the explosions, two of the bombers perished. Other terrorist bombers involved in the crime were apprehended and given firing squad execution warrants. On November 8, 2008, Imam Samudra, Amrozi Nurassian, and Huda bin Abdul Haq were put to death in Nusa Kambangan. A teaser trailer for the deeply moving series has been released to promote it. Viewers get a glimpse of the characters from the series in the video, which features a calm and beautiful rendition of DJ Sammy's popular song Heaven. A female character renders the post-bomb turmoil in the trailer, surrounded by flaming structures, moving automobiles, and injured visitors staggering out of the club. The teaser gives further details about the lives of the protagonists in the series while balancing the gravity of the attack's graphics with images of Bali's breathtaking landscapes. The narrative examines how the incident affected the lives of both locals and visitors. In the immediate aftermath of the assault in 2002, the community worked non-stop to save and aid the injured. Authorities from Australia joined the inquiry and visitors from other countries all offered assistance where they could. Local Balinese and the mostly Australian and British visitors try to rescue the injured and sue the dead, according to the series description on the Stan website. Authorities from Australia and Indonesia mobilize to rescue survivors, identify victims, and look into what happened. The website discusses the story's sentimental component and the character's account of events. Heroes emerge from the most unexpected places, and civilizations come together in the search for reconciliation, justice, and purpose, among this turmoil. The Indonesian and Australian security agencies must cooperate to apprehend the terrorists before they carry out other attacks while the victims fight to repair their damaged lives. But even if justice is served, will it really result in healing and redemption? The majority of responses to the trailer have been good, however many have questioned if it is necessary or acceptable to dramatize the attack. Although the incident occurred 20 years ago, several people said that the trauma is still acute and that it still feels too personal.